You know who's got the hardest job tonight? Oh, this. And his wife are both nominated. Now, if she loses, he can't win. I never seen this whole clip. <laughs> you know what? And I didn't even watch it when it was going. I saw this on TikTok afterwards. Please, Lord. Jada, I love you. G.I. Jane 2, can't mm. wait to see it. All right? She's like, oh my gosh, she's upset. He's Will is still smiling right there. Uh, we're gonna see, but he's laughing. He's laughing. Jada doesn't like it. She rolls her eyes. It's a, it's a sucky ass joke. Uh oh. Uh oh. And here he comes. <laughs> and then. Oh wow. God, impact. Wow. Get wrecked. Oh my God. Will Smith just smacked the out of him. And then he just goes back and sits down. You know, he gotta get those ratings up. Let's go. <laughs> wow, dude. But when he said it the second time, you can even see Lupita in the background. Lupita, <laughs> she's like, no, I'm, I'm serious. Going. He had one thing to say, and that was, that's not something to joke about. That was a Chris Rock. Greatest night in the history of television. I love the way he at least like kept it a thousand with that. Facts. Every single time I watch this, I feel like I'm there. I feel nervous and I feel embarrassed for him and I feel shocked. I mean, I don't think I would have heard anything about the Oscars at all, personally, if it wasn't for that situation. As a woman to be made fun of by, you know, a person of color in a predominantly white space, like that could be very jarring because that sort of makes you feel like Chris Rock is perpetuating behavior that is offensive to you. Her being a woman of color, her being a woman. In this moment, I think it's really important to remember that you're supposed to support black women. You're supposed to, um, you know, do what's right. Even though I don't think Will was right, it was, I think, understandable to a certain extent. I think both of them lose in this um, event. I don't think either one of them was correct. I've been seeing on Twitter how everyone's like, we shouldn't condone any violence, but like, no. I would do the same for my partner. Um, it probably would have played out exactly like that. Like, I'd be laughing because I laugh at everything. And then if I see that my partner's like, no, that wasn't funny, that actually kind of hurt, then I would do the same thing. I just feel like it could have been handled a different way. Like, I guess like like being a man, you could just be like, you can handle that later, you know? You know, yeah, you're upset, I get it, but it's just like, now wasn't that time to do that. I mean, it took me, I'm still growing up, and it's, it's taken me some time to get through that myself, you know? So I can see how, like, you're that age, and you know? It just feels like, especially if you're in that industry for that long, personally, I feel like you should have been aware of, like, your surroundings, you know? The reality is, I am not a disabled person. I'm not a chronically disabled person. I'm also not a black person. So my opinion holds zero weight in this scenario. The part that hurts me to see is that good intentions or not, this is unfortunately only going to have negative consequences. Venus and Serena Williams, they're gonna catch stray bullets from this. Jada, now whenever she speaks of her alopecia or she speaks of her disability, that's gonna fall on deaf ears because the Will Smith slap will, will overshadow all of that. Right now, I am dating somebody who also has an autoimmune disease. That can be something that can be taken in different, in different ways, depending on who it is. That's something that somebody has to live with. I don't care who wrote the joke. It might not even have been a joke that Chris Rock wrote. The joke was bad. Everybody knew that it was bad. And that should not have made air, period. How did it get that far? Somebody said, oh great, now black on black crime is in the Oscars. This has nothing to do with that. You're telling me that just because of the fact that that person is the same color that I am. All of a sudden now, anything they say I have to be okay with, hell no. In this time in my life. It's like a little awkward if I was there. I'd be like, oh, I just watched this dude smack a guy too. That's funny. I am overwhelmed by what God is calling on me to do and be in this world. Okay. I think he's using making this really film. good words i got to protect to paint himself as who was some kind of this. hero i'm being called on in my life to love people mm -hmm. and to protect 
people. Mm -hmm. And to be a river to my people. And I know to do what we do, you got to be able to take abuse. You mm -hmm. got to be able to have true. people talk crazy about you. You definitely have to have such case, thick skin. Have. And what I loved, thank you, D. Denzel said to me a few minutes ago, he said, <laughs> at your highest moment, be careful. That's when the devil comes for you. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Let's go, Denzel. I like how they were all looking out for him, too, in this situation. I love that. Some real friends right there. What he says is true in terms of when, when you go to enough events, when you hear people talk about you on stage in public like that so many times, it's gonna... I want to be a... You're gonna snap. For love. It doesn't make it right, though. I want to apologize to the Academy. I want to apologize... That's to good. That's very mature to do. Not Chris Rock. Um. <laughs> also, I don't know if anybody's read his book. He speaks a lot about how he regrets not being able to defend his mother. His, like, like past females in his life, he regrets not being able to stand up for them. So I think this was way more than about... This was more than just a joke for winning a, an award. It's not, it's not about winning an award for me. It's about being able to shine light. Everything he's preaching is correct and the right um, way to go about things, but it doesn't align with what his actions um, showed that night to me. He should have been there to protect the people that he cares about because of the fact that he cares. Do I think he was wrong? No. Do I think he was wrong in his actions? Yes. Should they revoke his Oscar? No. That had nothing to do with the absolutely amazing performance he had in that film. I don't know. There's two different meanings, I feel like, with that approach of violence. And there's a reason why I think he slapped him instead of, like, closed fists punched him. Um, but I think Will should have been should have been removed. Mm -hmm. He assaulted a man on, on, on national TV. When you get into a character, sometimes you like you learn different parts of, like, or you learn new things about yourself. Him playing the father of Venus and Serena, which I've seen interviews of him. He does not play mm -hmm. about his girls. I can see how, l like, learning that role makes him a protector. I mean, yeah, he goofed up. It's like, but dude worked hard on a movie, bro. Like, you can't, how is that one moment gonna mess that entire opportunity? The whole Oscars, like, they're gonna have to give it to somebody else now? Like, they just want more drama. You've been outspoken about the Will Smith, Chris Rock thing. Um, what, did, what did you think about it whenever it was, it was happening? When it was happening, I was like... You like, jaw on the floor? First of all, do you know, like, that, that, in, that joke that Chris did, I remember when that movie came out, yeah. And that was a way to insult a woman, her sexuality, her her physique. Mm -hmm. It was a way to call, call a woman a homosexual, basically. Mm -hmm. And she's sitting right next to her. That, it was like that. I remember that in school. That I like, did not know that they would do that to people. You know. So it's queer, affects queer people it's as well. Messed up. Cool. See, I'm thinking of like elementary when I hear GI Jane. So they're older than me, so I get it now. Like. When I hear G.I. Jane, I'm like, in my head, I'm like, that's like a, like a tease, it, it sounds like in my head, you know, like, oh, G.I. Jane, just because it's like, okay, like, yeah. but I can see why this, that's rooted. Sometimes discipline <laughs> needs to be administered. <laughs> they can make up? Yeah. I think it'll be fine. Yeah, exactly. They're grown men, come on. You have to give me the skinny on what happens if they're both here tonight. Well, you know, it ain't none of my business. Thank you. My Sagittarius queen, you ask me a question, I give you the answer. Anything further, it is too much. I did not know that it was used as an insult for queer women. I could speak on that. Venus and, literally, Venus and Serena Williams have had that their entire lives. Strong, able-bodied, like, powerful women, their femininity is taken away, and that's an, that's an insult. Comedy is entirely subjective, and so in that, there's a lot of people that you're gonna make laugh, and then there's some people that aren't. And then there's some people, like, past that, that you're going to offend. And if it's that person, sometimes it gets to be a little too much. It just created a whole discourse of something that was not just about the Oscars. It's about human conduct. It's about respect. It's about, can this be told into a joke or not? Abusive people. They will see that, see that it got pushed under the rug, 
and assume that's fine. So there are a few really, really dangerous mindsets that will be confirmed if you do not add context and nuance. Everyone's watching, the camera's on them. And, you know, I may have not watched the Oscars, but I also have social media. So because of that, since this was a key moment and people know who, I don't need to watch the Oscars to know who Will Smith and Chris Rock are. So the fact that I was able to just go through Snapchat, Instagram, all these different social medias, and see this happen repeatedly on different people's platforms, it's working so well. Like, if that's if that was the case and it was planned all along, then they got they got their they got what they wanted. The way that social media moves is so quick that like crazy things happen and then we forget about it. But I think this is one of those ones that like we should continue to like shine light on. Of course, you're a comedian. If we're all comedians at this point. Like, you could do as you please with your jokes. But like, when it comes to actually harming someone who's open about a journey who's hard for her, this sh should show comedians that like, maybe filter them a little bit. Moments like these, when we can have a worldwide discussion, I think it just raises consciousness. This is something that we can all learn from. Thank you for watching this episode. Let us know how you feel about this situation down in the comments below. Bye, guys. Bye.